I'm Mike DeBerardinas. I'm Deputy Mayor and Commissioner of the Department of Parks and Recreation. And on behalf of the women and men of the department, I want to thank everyone for braving this just a little bit cold day here and joining us for this announcement about, important announcement about uh, JFK Plaza or more affectionately known as Love Park. Govern effectively in American cities is no easy task. Consistent and high quality decision making may be difficult to achieve, but it's not impossible. It takes courage to lead. It takes actively searching and digging for the best ideas. It takes a commitment to collaborate and a knack for reasonable compromise. We are here for this exciting announcement regarding Love Park because our mayor and my boss, Michael Nutter, and our president of city council, Daryl Clark, exercised courage, leadership, collaboration, and compromise. That's what got us here today, and that's what uh, we're gonna be, the mayor and the council president will be signing in some pretty short order. So I hope you will all join me in welcoming the president of the city council, and I do want to say a few words here. I got, uh, we changed the order here, but uh, it's just now they changed the order of the program. Uh, but uh, this, 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 the dialogue and the process that got us here today uh, was not an easy one. And it, it, I have to compliment uh, the council president and uh, his staff, particularly John Christmas, for their uh, sort of challenging our ideas, uh, actively negotiating and figuring out how to get us to the finish line. And without that resolve to get us to the finish line, we would not be here today. So uh, please join me in welcoming the President of City Council to, this, to the podium, Daryl Clark. Uh, good afternoon. I will be quick for obvious reasons. Uh, <laughs> folks, I, I just want to say that uh, it's, I'm happy to stand here to talk about the refurbishment of this wonderful park. We're long overdue. Um, and I want to say that this was not an adversarial relationship, although it may have appeared to be that way uh, in some of the press accounts. But the reality is, is that we've been working together over the last couple of months. Our team, uh, the mayor and I, have talked about the need to get this done. And I want to say how excited I am about the prospects of having a well-balanced approach to redoing this park and to bring some level of vibrancy to this park that it needs to be. And no longer will people have to talk about Bryant Park in New York or York Park in London. They're gonna be talking about Love Park in the city of Philadelphia. So I want to say congratulations and great job to everybody. Thank you, Council President. Uh, Working with the mayor has been a real pleasure for me over the past five or five or six years or so. And he clearly understands and gets the importance of high, high quality public space and its role in building Philadelphia as a competitive city and space that serves all its citizens. He has been a great uh, advocate and supporter of the Department of Parks and Recreation and has been a leader in uh, driving the department not only in its programming goals for youth, youth, but for its uh, sustainability goals with the GreenWorks plan. So please join me in welcoming uh, my boss and our mayor, Michael Nutter, to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for being here. Uh, to uh, Mike DeBerardinas, uh, Mark Polk, and the entire uh, team over at the uh, uh, Department of Parks and Recreation, thank you very, very much. Council President Clark, uh, thank you, uh, not only for your presence, but for your continued commitment, uh, not only to Love Park, uh, but to so many, many places uh, around the city of Philadelphia, whether in uh, the 5th uh, Council District uh, or anywhere uh, in the city of Philadelphia. A particular special shout out to our budget director, uh, Rebecca Reinhardt, uh, really uh, helped to keep uh, everything uh, focused and together. Maybe one of the few times that the budget director gets a big shout out and a round of applause. Uh, <laughs> uh, having nothing to do with her, it's the nature of the job, but uh, Rebecca uh, did uh, one heck of a job on, uh, on this one and we greatly, greatly appreciate her. 
Uh, the uh, two other council members who are uh, particularly involved in this uh, kind of process, Councilwoman Cindy Bass, who is the chair of the Parks and Recreation Committee for City Council, and Councilman Bobby Heenan, who is the chair of the Public Property Committee for City Council. So many park advocates, uh, too many to name on this particular day, but I'll certainly cover a few. Nancy Goldenberg is the chair of the Commission on Parks and Recreation for the City of Philadelphia and is here. Please recognize Nancy and thank her for her great work. John Caduso, Catherine Ott Lovell, uh, and uh, certainly John Benzwanger, and so many, many others. Uh, the Fairmont Park Conservancy, members of the Parks Alliance, the former Fairmont Park Commission, uh, and so many, many others. And all of them are here. Please recognize them for their uh, great work as well. Love Park means so much to so many, many people. And it uh, certainly has at least two official names. Uh, I may uh, give it a little bit of a third today, but first and foremost known as John F. Kennedy Plaza, often uh, better known as Love Park, in honor of, of course, uh, right behind us, Robert Indiana's Love Sculpture, which is known around the world, often imitated, cannot uh, be duplicated. But I would also suggest that this is the ultimate in the People's Park for the city of Philadelphia and it is one of the most recognizable parks uh, and symbols of great parks anywhere in the world and whether folks come here from Spain or Sri Lanka visitors to our great city want to see certainly the Liberty Bell they want to run up the steps to the art museum we'd actually like them to go into the art museum as well certainly eat a cheesesteak of whatever variety and wherever they want to get it from and more than likely they are taking a photo right here at Love Park how many thousands of brides and grooms have had their portrait in front of that statue. So many visitors, whether from around the corner or around the world, want to stand right here and take a photo. Philadelphians certainly enjoy the park as an urban oasis. When Center Square became the site of City Hall, part uh, of the city uh, lost its park in Penn's green country town. Love Park certainly did fill that void. Business people enjoy their lunch or take a breeze. Uh, in the middle of a work day or in the middle of this day. The importance of this iconic part is the very heart and soul of the city cannot be overstated. It sits in the geographical and symbolic center and heart of the city of Philadelphia and it links City Hall to our Grand Boulevard, the Art Museum and beyond Boathouse Row in all of Fairmount Park. Given this level of importance, it is no wonder that discussions around the future of this park have been followed closely by thousands of people in and around and outside the city boundaries. And they enjoy the park every day as well, our park advocates, and certainly the news media. Every Philadelphian has a stake in the future of JFK Plaza Love Park. Today I'm honored to share uh, the news about Council President Clark and I working together in partnership with the Fairmount Park Conservancy that we've reached agreement to move forward with reimagining this urban jewel of open green space. Together, City Council and our administration will work to create a new, revitalized urban park of the highest quality for our residents, commuters, and tourists to enjoy utilizing the best current practices of sustainability and open space design. We'll work together with public input to develop a park design to enhance the amount of green space in Love Park while providing dedicated space for concessions to generate revenue in support of this great park. And we realize, and we will see, uh, certainly the active participation of our private sector funding to support a study focused on ways to maximize revenue generation in the park and simultaneously to support an open public planning process, planning process to help inform the park's design and its green space. Simply put, we all agree that we want to optimize the opportunities for revenue generation while maintaining the integrity of the current public open space. We're a big enough city, I think there are smart enough people in the city and those that we can work with that we can actually do both. Some of the features we want uh, to include in that design, how do we keep the diagonal movement throughout the park, incorporate a new major water feature, open accessibility to the park on all sides, 15th Street, 16th Street, Arch Street, and JFK Boulevard. Enhanced horticulture and expanded green space, dedicated space for concessions, and of course, retain the prominent nature of Robert Indiana's world famous statue. Regarding the cost of developing a new and vibrant park, we will seek every possible opportunity to reduce the impact 
on our city taxpayers. And to this end, the city will apply for $3 million in Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program, better known as RACD. And those funds uh, come from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and Liberty Property Trust, one of the city's leading real estate firms and builders, has agreed to provide pro bono value engineering services during the planning and design phase of the project to better control costs. I want to thank uh, certainly John Gattuso and Bill Hankowski. You might be familiar with a little bit of their work. Um, it's, um, oh, it's that one. Uh, and soon to be another one uh, known as Comcast Center. We also know that the remaining costs will be funded either through the proceeds from the sale of the garage to the city's capital investment program or both. We're also seeking corporate and foundation support. We welcome institutions to step forward immediately if you're interested in this project. I can't imagine that anyone around uh, this uh, great love park or anyone else nearby uh, wouldn't be interested in helping to invest in one of the city's most beautiful uh, places. Again, I want to thank Council President Clark for the time, the focus, the energy, the ideas, and the support that he has already given this project. We both have a shared vision for Love's Park, and I want to take a moment again to recognize the Council President for his efforts around controlling the cost of this particular project. Specifically, Council President Clark's fiscal vision, using concessions to offset the city's investment and as a vehicle to provide sustainable funding uh, as a source for the park's maintenance in the future. As public officials, we are always trying to provide the right balance as we provide world-class services and amenities while also being mindful of the cost to the public that we all serve and represent. By working together, the City Council President's Office and my administration, the help of the Fairmount Park Conservancy, we will in fact strike the right balance. And the result will be a beautiful public space that will serve the citizens, tourists and residents, and many other visitors for decades and decades to come. Bottom line, this announcement is great news for the future of Love Park, the city of Philadelphia, and our citizens and tourists. We're now gonna take a moment to sign an agreement that we've made uh, that detail uh, our plans uh, beyond uh, the highlight items that I mentioned to you. It's warm. <laughs> I gotta say, this is the worst signature that I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that good, Dad? Is that, is that the whole thing? <laughs> we are signed up. Love Park, on the way. Thank you. Thank you. Now, to close out our program, we're going to ask the uh, representative from the Fairmount Park Conservancy. This organization has become a vital part of what we do in parks and recreation every day not only from raising money, but to help us with our broad programmatic objectives. And to uh, speak for the Conservancy, I'd like to ask John Catuso, the chair of the board, to, to come to the podium. And But with him is the executive director, Catherine on Love, who is an incredible force and an incredible leader for the, for the Conservancy staff and their work every day. Uh, John, can you please come to the podium? Thank you, everyone. And congratulations. Uh, Council President Clark uh, and Mayor Nutter on a really important uh, uh, advance forward for our park system. The Fanon Park Conservancy exists to champion Philadelphia's magnificent park system. We believe inherently in the value of public and private partnership and in working hand in hand with city government and public citizens to create a world class park system for our city and our region. And we are tremendously excited about the opportunity that exists to revitalize Love Park and establish it as a fitting gateway to the parkway and a crown jewel for Fairmount Park itself. We look forward to uh, helping and uh, lead a public design process and developing a shared vision for the park that expands its green space, increases its utility, adheres to the highest standards of landscape design, and enhances the park's user experience. At the Conservancy, we are involved in the development, management, and promotion of appropriate well-conceived concessions throughout the park system. Through this work, we have seen firsthand the potential that exists to optimize revenue-generating opportunities which raise critical resources that go directly back into our park system. At the same time, 
we also understand the importance of and are committed to maintaining the integrity of our open spaces and striking an appropriate balance between active and passive uses. The Conservancy believes that the central premise behind the restoration of our wonderful urban park system is bringing people back to parks, and we are confident that the transformed Love Park will be treasured by generations of Philadelphians and will preserve its status among Philadelphia's most iconic landmarks. Again, thank you. We thank Mayor Nutter, Deputy Mayor Debir Dinas, and Council President Clark for their efforts and the leadership to move this project forward. It's time now to show Love Park some love. <laughs>